もっともっとはばかりです」「よくもっともっと早く」「人は走り出した」Greetings, everyone. My name is Draconos2008, and today I'm about to show you my Dragon Ball Z collections. Alright, here it is Dragon Ball Z, the Vegeta Saga, Saiyan Showdown. Now, if you're wondering, yes, this is Funimation's first release of the first season of the Dragon Ball Z sagas. Because, as you know, back in 1995, Ocean Dub had done the first and second seasons. Funimation eventually picked up the slacks. Voicing the Frieza saga all the way to the Majin Buu saga. Then, of course, in 2006, they had this idea. Oops, we forgot to voice season 1 and season 2, so let's go back and re release it for the first time. So here it is the Ultimate Uncut Special Edition. Now, when I first got this, I was psyched, but the only problem was they kind of cheated me. You see, you get three episodes with each releasing, so I was kind of messed up. Thus, leading us to here, Piccolo's plan. It has the final fight with Raditz, and、um, it's pretty nice. Then we go over here to Into the Wild, where Gohan transforms into a wild ape, and Piccolo has to stop him. Man, I tell you, those were some good times. Here it is, the double feature Bardock, father of Goku, and the history of Trunks. Yes, I gotta admit, I was. Quite happy that they released both discs in one little casing. It's really cool. We get to learn the origin of Goku's father, Bardock, as well as find out the origin story of the history of future trunks. What a collection that was. Best part is, you could switch between、um, which audio that you want. You could, hear Dragon, you could hear the English voices with the Japanese soundtrack in the background, you could hear the English voices with the Bruce Falcomer music. Or you could just watch the original Japanese with the English subtitles. Still, that is one heck of a collection. Ah,、uh, yes, here we go Dragon Ball Z Movie 1 The Dead Zone. Goku's son is kidnapped by the evil Garlic Jr. Now Goku must forge an alliance with Piccolo in order to get his son back. Then we go over to Movie 2. Goku must defeat an evil Saiyan that has the exact same face as him. And save the planet from dying from the evil Tree of Might. Let's not be confused with the Tree of Might or Bridge, okay? That was by Team Four Star. This is the real thing right here. Alright? Just wanted to clear that. Alright, then we have Dragon Ball Z Movie 3 The World's Strongest. An evil scientist is hell bent on revenge because some, something was done to him wrong. But for an ultimate enemy, I mean, look at him. He's just a brain in a robot body. Still, it was a good movie. So there you have it, the first three Dragon Ball Z movies. Alright, tell me if you've heard this before Dragon Ball Z, Broly, the legendary Super Saiyan. Goku, Gohan, Trunks, and Vegeta must stop the mighty tyrant Broly. Then, of course, came a sequel Broly, Second Coming. Goku is dead, and it's up to Gohan, Trunks, and Goten to defeat the almighty Super Saiyan. But here's a movie that you newcomers are probably not familiar with Bio Broly. This movie was so bad that not even Nicktoons would air it. Basically, Broly is back to life and he comes back as this freaking clone mutated swamp thing lookalike creature.、Um, we do,、uh, Trunks and Goten are the main stars of this movie, and Trunks somehow learns the Kamehameha wave. It's not even explained how he learns it, he just sort of picked it up somehow. We also see Krillin and Android 18 try to take on this thing. And here you go Bro the Broly movie sagas. Or, as I would like to call it, Broly Triple Threat. Okay, that just sounded cheesy and cliche. Alright, on to the next movie! Well, that's it for part one. Stay tuned for part two where I show you more of my Dragon Ball Z collections.